a youth core a member or you call Sola, on which he currently served at the Suleri local government area of Lagos State in a bid to give back to her community, organized a free breast and cervical cancer screening for 300 women in the community. The event was well attended by members of the National Youth Service Corps. Details in this report. Getting screening tests regularly may find breast, cervical and other cancers early when treatment is likely to work best. Breast and cervical cancer screening services are made available to women in the Suleri local government area with some 300 women as beneficiaries. This initiative is the brainchild of Oyi Consola Onuchekwa, apparently not without some family support. Her mother explains how essential the program is to women, especially at the grassroots. Um, I'm doing this particular project under NYC, but I actually have an NGO. They are the ones in the purple t-shirts, KKC and the Community Initiative, which was founded in 2017. So this is what we do regularly. Every year we provide free medical services to people and communities. We have done free um, eye tests, we have done um, cervical and breast cancer screening, and we also give out free welfare items to people. I feel very blessed and honored to be doing this for NYC because NYC is a very great initiative and program, and I'm just blessed to be able to give back to my community and to give back to my country at large. I'm a living testimony of um, early detection of cervical cancer. Over 10 years ago, I attended this free screening as this, and I was discovered to have the first stage of cervical cancer screening. It was discovered and immediately it was taken out through what they call cryotherapy. So for NYC project, the community development project, she said, mommy, let me extend this to other children. Let them have the opportunity of having their mothers around them as much as I have mine with me too. A cross-section of the beneficiaries express the appreciation. In fact, I must say I'm quite impressed with uh, Onye Kostola, you know, a youth copper that had actually gone into this. It's wonderful for a copper to have the time to go all over the place, you know, asking people to come for this. Um, the time that she has spent, you know, our youth now these days, you know, they go after something else. For her to have done this, I give her Cervical and breast cancer are most frequently diagnosed in women between the ages of 35 and 44, with the average age at diagnosis being 50. Many older women do not realize that the risk of developing cervical cancer is still present as they age. However, these cancers rarely occur in women who have been getting regular tests to screen for cervical cancer before they were 65. Gestures like this, therefore, would go a long way in mitigating this deadly disease. Uchechi Obwehi Daniel, reporting for Plus TV Africa. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.